everyone, it's Shane Conso, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I know I've said this multiple times on my channel, this is finally the last film of 2016 I'm going to see in theaters. Well, sorry, I lied. The Red Turtle came out at the AMC near me, and I was very excited to see this film last week, so I went out and saw it, because I do really want to get to see that and my life is zucchini, so that I could get it with some perspective on why those films were nominated for Best Animation when they had a really stacked year this year. And what I'm going to say is, I was very, very impressed. And The Red Turtle deserved to be on that list of nominees for Best Animated Feature. I'm going to talk about the director, Michael Dudok DeWitt, who brought this film to life about a man who's stranded on an island. There's a red turtle. I'm not going to get too much into it because I didn't know going in. And I was very surprised about where this film went. And I think it's a cool experience to take that hour and 20 minutes of this film and just go with it. So I'm going to let you as the audience go with it when you get a chance to see this. But I have to say, now this film barely has any dialogue in it. Basically, hey, hey, like yelling. That's basically the only dialogue in this film, which I will get to this more in a little bit which does feel kind of like this was some kind of gimmick, but the way that they told this without dialogue, I thought was very impressive. And it was a beautifully told story without any dialogue. And a beautiful film. My god, the animation in this was drop dead gorgeous. And I couldn't I was in awe of watching this throughout this film. And it was well paced. It wasn't very quick. It took its time building up and going where it was going, but it always felt like it was moving forward with some kind of intent. Did I know where it was going? Absolutely not. But I knew it was going somewhere. And it was very deliberate with how it was put together. And this film delivered on a range of emotions that I did not expect. It built some serious tension in certain aspects of this film. And... Do Dr. Witt put together a really fantastic film here, and I was very, very impressed. The writing, which was by Do Dr. Witt and also Pasquale Ferran, this was a very engaging story. Very engaging. Now, here's where I'm going to get into where I think that the no dialogue thing was a bit gimmicky. Because they do actually say things. And there were parts in this film that they should have just said stuff, to be perfectly honest. I'm not going to take away so much from my judgment in the film in terms of that, because this was a fantastically put together film and true art on the screen, but I can't let that completely slide. It was a bit like, why don't you just say something? But we'll leave it at that. And in terms of connecting the emotions and everything without the dialogue did an amazing job. I was really, really impressed, and I think that it was a very, very unique experience, because I don't want to give anything away, but this does not go where you expect it to go, and I it took me, I'm glad that I waited doing this review, because right off the bat, I was confused, I was like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this film, but looking back, it's not, and it's not a literal connection to 2001 A Space Odyssey, but there are aspects where things happen that seem so out of the ordinary, and do we have a complete explanation of it? No. But this experience is so amazing, and what you go through, and it's just so expected and acknowledged, I'm not quite sure if this is an accurate representation of the what's going on with this film, but I think keep thinking of magical realism because things happen in this film that should stand out as like what completely out of the ordinary but it feels so accepted in what goes on that it just feels that way to me and my god the music by Laurent Perez Del Mar was breathtaking and beautiful and overall this was a very beautiful film it was a wonderful experience despite some small gimmicky issues and some 
hard to describe story plot points. I would put this as a perfect A+, but I do have to take a little bit off. I highly, highly suggest if you can go see The Red Turtle, please do in theaters. I'm going to give it an A.